Who is Jim Simons? Jim Simons is a renowned mathematician, hedge fund manager, and philanthropist who has had a lasting impact on mathematics, finance, and philanthropy. He is the founder of Renaissance Technologies, one of the most successful hedge funds in history. He is also an active philanthropist who has donated billions of dollars to organizations dedicated to healthcare, education, and scientific research. His work has earned him numerous awards including the National Medal of Science and the Breakthrough Prize in Mathematics. Early Life and Education Born in the Bronx, Simons graduated from Brooklyn Technical High School. He enrolled in a physics major at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, but changed his major to mathematics after taking a basic mathematics course with Ramon Bachner. From there, he went on to earn his Ph.D., and has been published more than 100 times in refereed journals such as Nature. He also received honorary degrees from MIT and Harvard University. Simons is best known for being part of the team that created risk arbitrage, which involved simultaneously purchasing an asset whose price is significantly below its intrinsic value, like equity or bond with a very low interest rate, and selling the asset at a later time when its price has increased. The secret to the strategy is timing. The investor buys an asset that has a lower than normal perceived risk, like corporate bonds with little default risk, for less than their true value, and sells it later after there's been an unexpected change in the risk perception of that particular asset. Why is Jim Simons known as the Quant King? Jim Simons is one of the most successful investors in the world, and he has earned a reputation as the Quant King due to his impressive track record. He is well known for his ability to use quantitative analysis to identify investment opportunities and make remarkably accurate predictions about market trends. His success has been attributed to his use of sophisticated algorithms and mathematical models that make his decisions more efficient than those of other investors. In order to train his algorithm, he has developed a highly complex trading strategy that involves more than five variables. His algorithms take into account the price of stocks and their volume, along with the time of day. They also use historical data about stock prices to predict future trends. One way this algorithm works is by sending out orders for specific stocks on a regular basis when they are trading near their highs or lows, maximizing profits while minimizing risks. This is one of the most complex algorithms available, and it shows. The algorithm is able to predict the stock market with a success rate of about 70%. In the last year, he also maintains a blog that discusses his trading strategy and discusses other investment strategies. In addition, he is a frequent speaker at conferences on investment and has published numerous books about investing. What is quantitative analysis? Quantitative analysis is a powerful tool used in decision-making. It helps companies to measure, analyze, and interpret data to make informed decisions about their business operations. Quantitative analysis is a complex process that involves gathering data, analyzing it, interpreting the results, and making decisions based on those results. It can provide invaluable insights into various areas of a business, such as customer satisfaction, product performance, and profitability. With the help of quantitative analysis, businesses can better understand their customers and develop strategies that will lead to improved profits. The following are the various components of quantitative analysis. Formulating research questions. The first step in the process is to clearly state what information is needed and why it's important. It's important that the questions be stated in a way that they can be answered with a single number or data point. For example, what is the average age of our customers? Or how many hours does it take for us to process an order? Gathering data. Next, business owners have to collect any relevant data from their company or clients. Data collection usually entails collecting some sort of market research, such as surveys or focus groups, and then analyzing the results. For example, a business owner might send out surveys to their customers to get feedback on what they'd like from the company. They could also reach out to local businesses in their area that operate similarly and ask for recommendations for which marketing channels would be best for them. Formulating conclusions with data collected, 
business owners can now conclude how their marketing channels are performing or where they should focus their future efforts in order to improve sales. What is the black box strategy of the Medallion Fund? The black box strategy of the Medallion Fund is a unique approach to investing that has enabled the fund to outperform the markets for decades. It is based on using mathematics and computer algorithms to identify and capitalize on market anomalies, thereby generating above-average returns. The black box strategy relies heavily on proprietary trading techniques, which are closely guarded secrets amongst Medallion's elite traders. This strategy has enabled the fund to achieve annual returns of over 30% since its inception in 1988. With this strategy, the Medallion Fund has become one of the most successful hedge funds in history. How did Jim Simons keep the trading algorithms a secret? Jim Simons was a revolutionary mathematician who changed the way financial markets were analyzed. He was able to develop complex trading algorithms and keep them a secret due to his unique approach to using mathematical models and computers. His ability to create strategies that could predict stock prices with precision enabled him to make incredible profits without revealing his secrets to the public. This allowed him to maintain an edge over other traders and become one of the most successful investors in modern times. What kind of trading strategies have Jim Simons and the Medallion Fund employed? Jim Simons and the Medallion Fund have employed a variety of trading strategies to achieve success in their investments. These strategies involve quantitative analysis, algorithmic trading, and statistical arbitrage. By using advanced mathematical models and sophisticated algorithms, they are able to identify opportunities that offer high returns with minimal risk. They also employ alternative data sources to gain an edge over their competitors. Through careful research and analysis, they are able to make informed decisions when it comes to investing and achieving superior returns for their clients. The Medallion Fund is a forex trading entity that has been in existence since the early 1990s. Their main areas of focus are currency exchange and quantitative foreign exchange analysis, with an emphasis on detecting arbitrage opportunities. They have also focused on building a comprehensive portfolio of assets that provides reliable and consistent returns, even during market volatility. The Medallion Fund is based in Stamford, Connecticut with additional offices in London, Montreal, and San Francisco. They are managed by Simons himself, which allows them to maintain absolute discretion when it comes to their trading strategy. How have Jim Simons and the Medallion Fund managed such a return? Jim Simons and the Medallion Fund have consistently delivered impressive returns over the past few decades. By leveraging quantitative strategies and a focus on data-driven decisions, they have been able to achieve such a high return on investment. In the 1960s, Simons and his father, Alfred Simons, began developing quantitative trading models as a way to maximize their investment returns. They moved their hedge fund, the Medallion Fund, to New York and made a name for themselves in the market by bringing out groundbreaking analytics and machine learning systems. Currently, Simons is one of the top investors in Silicon Valley. He is also responsible for investing in a number of major companies including Google, Amazon, and Intel. Simons has been a pioneer in using quantitative and data-driven trading strategies. He then built on this success with a machine learning system called Martingale that was able to learn from its previous mistakes to help minimize risk. Thank you for watching.